Reaction tonight after the Colorado Supreme Court decided that Donald Trump will not appear on the primary ballot, saying that he is ineligible to be president after his role in the January 6th, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Ho Jung Ru talked to a political science expert here and learned more about what it all means. Ho Jung? A political science expert says that this case will be heard by the U.S. Supreme Court not only because it is an important relevant matter, but also because it is exploring an area of the Constitution that has never been explored. Shockwaves were sent through American voters as Colorado Supreme Court decided to take Donald Trump's name off the primary ballot. The implications of this are potentially huge. It could potentially upend everything that we've thought about what's going to happen in 2024, because Trump it has been and is the odds on favorite uh, to win the nomination for the Republican Party. Colorado Supreme Court ruled that the former President Donald Trump is not eligible to run for president. They say this is due to the U.S. Constitution's insurrection clause that states that Quote, anyone who engaged in insurrection or rebellion, end quote, is disqualified from running for office. This clause originally aimed to keep Confederate figures from holding office, and it is the first time ever it is being used on a presidential candidate. Baumgartner says Colorado's action can change a lot in the presidential race. One cannot be a nominee unless one is nominated by the party and one cannot be nominated by the party if one is not on the ballot in the primaries. According to him, Colorado's action could signal other states to follow a similar path. Actually, even if only half the states followed suit, it makes Trump's path to the nomination much more difficult, right? Uh, because you can't get a majority of delegates unless you have a majority of delegates. North Carolina, however, threw out a similar voter challenge and Trump's name will be on the primary ballot. Baumgartner added that if the Supreme Court were to uphold Colorado's decision, states can appeal to put Trump's name on the ballot. If a conclusion cannot be reached on time with the Supreme Court, the ballots will proceed with his name on it. Reporting live from studio, Ho Jung Roo. All right, thanks, Ho-Jung. And according to Baumgartner, there is a strong possibility the Supreme Court will expedite the hearing if they decide to do so with the Republican National Convention starting on July 15th in Milwaukee.